welcome to the very first history video on this channel. Today we are going to be showing off the history of the Central of Georgia Railroad and the Central of Georgia District, which is currently owned by the Norfolk Southern Railroad. I hope you enjoyed this video and be sure to like, subscribe, comment, and share. Now let's get on to the video. The Central of Georgia Railway, formerly the Central Railroad and Canal Company, was founded in 1833 as a better way to attract investment capital. The railroad changed its name to Central Railroad and Banking Company of Georgia. This railroad was constructed to join the Macon and Western Railroad at Macon, Georgia, and run to Savannah, Georgia. This created a rail link from Chattanooga, Tennessee on the Tennessee River to seaports on the Atlantic Ocean. We are looking at the routes of what the Central of Georgia Railroad took. During the Savannah Campaign of the American Civil War, conducted during November and December 1864, Federal troops tore up the rails and converted them to Sherman's neckties. However, in 1888, the Richmond Terminal Company, a Virginia holding company, gained control of the Central financial problems of parenting company forced the central of Georgia to go bankrupt. However, the Southern Railway decided to merge with the Central of Georgia Railway and merged and became the still Southern Railway. And now the Southern Railway has taken over the Central of Georgia District on the Norfolk Southern Railroad formerly the Southern Railroad. Fun little fact, the Southern Railway number 722 has been through the Central of Georgia District in 1972, and these are the only two photos that I can find on the internet. Fast forward four years later in 1976, two years before my father was born, the Southern Pacific Railway number 4449 went through the Central of Georgia District. It was carrying the American Freedom Train, and the only photos of it is in Birmingham, Alabama. Fast forward 13 years later. The Norfolk and Western J-Class No. 611 ran through the Central of Georgia District in 1989. My father and my grandfather caught this one uh, either on the SNNA subdivision on the CSX Railroad or the Central of Georgia District. Here are the photos of the 611 going over the Central of Georgia District or the SNNA subdivision. <music> This is a thumbnail photo of my father getting to the cab of the 611. This is an old pacing video with an old VHS camcorder. That's why you see trees in the video. Let's fast forward a few months before the 611. My father and my grandfather caught the Norfolk and Western A class number 1218 going through the central of Georgia district. He has seen this engine three times running before. I just wanted to thank everyone for watching this video. Be sure to like, subscribe, comment, and share this video if you wanted. And thanks, thanks for watching, and go Railfan.